I've distro hopped again, so now I'm using Kubuntu 1404 beta. And I have to say, it's working a damn sight a lot better than Ubuntu 14.04 was. <laughs> hmm, funny old thing that. Well, the only crashes I've had have been with KDN Live. But then to say KDN Live crashes would also be like saying that bears poo in the woods. It's kind of an obvious thing, and it always happens. Fortunately with KDN Live, it has a great auto-recovery feature, so I don't really lose anything. So there's been some advantages with me uh, dropping Solid K and going with Kubuntu. In particular that uh, it's got some of the Unity features here. So if I open up Firefox, you can do right click and you can do open a new window and open a new private window there. So it's got some of the Unity features there. Same for LibreOffice. You can do new document and open up recent documents. I've learnt from my Unity-like styling of SolidX, of how to improve it a little bit. Okay, so I've still got the launch down the side with the icon-only taskbar, the home run launcher, and across the top now I've got this uh, smaller launcher. Now the reason I do that is to kind of replicate the global menu and the ability to easily drag the windows down from the top. If I show you in Firefox, the menu now goes to the top of the screen. Dragging down doesn't work though. This is uh, one of the annoyances with Firefox in the KDE desktop. <laughs> it doesn't work that well. If I open up something like Dolphin, I've got the menu at the top of the screen. I can drag the window down off the top there and uh, well, put it to the side or put it wherever. It's quite quick and easy to do. Now the menu appears there, which is quite convenient. I kind of like this style now, quite happy with it. The other reason for going with Kubuntu now is that you've got ease of access to the launchpad repositories. Because that was a bit hit and miss of getting them going in Solid K. Sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't. Sometimes it could be an absolute headache. Yeah. So it's a good idea to go for that, and uh, yeah, now I've got ease of access to them. Some annoyances though. This is a 14.04 annoyance in general, that uh, FFmpeg has now been removed. So my favourite screen recorder, VocoScreen, no longer works. I've got LibAV instead, and it's just not as good as FFmpeg was. I think there's a launchpad repository to get it back in, but when I tried it about a week ago, it didn't work properly. It just conflicted with LibAV and just couldn't install properly. I think probably by final release, that might be solved. I think I probably will be ditching Ubuntu now. It's just too many problems now with it, and uh, one, of the, one of the things that really annoyed me was the media keys not working. I mean keys like the volume control on the keyboard. So my Logitech Internet 350 keyboard, the top row of keys is pretty useless, so I might as well go and lop them all off. Why? I don't need to do that. It works perfectly fine here in Kubuntu. As you can see there, opening up the music player worked perfectly fine. See, that's one thing that doesn't work now in Ubuntu. The other thing that's kind of let me leave Ubuntu a bit easier is that Ubuntu One has now gone and I'd actually paid to use that service. Now that uh, Canonical are no longer offering that as a cloud storage solution, hey, there's no reason to keep it. I think there has been a new feature added in Dolphin. So you've got this recently accessed and searched for section here. So I just click on documents and we'll type in, well, why not, FFmpeg since I was talking about it earlier. And it brings up all files with FFmpeg in the name. So that's quite nice. Well, I think Dolphin is probably the only file manager actually gaining features. I know that uh, Canonical are trying to restore some of the features back into Nautilus that uh, GNOME have removed in this latest version of Ubuntu 14.04, but they still got a bit of a way to go. A couple of years ago, Nautilus was more feature rich than it is now. Anyway, I'm happy here in Kubuntu, and I'll stay here a bit longer. Well, thanks for watching. See you later.